I want to show you this. This is the bottom of my fluka. And it looks like I made grease out of the oil I had. It's weird. That's how you make grease. You just burn oil. That's the byproduct that fell in here and turned to grease. I just want to show you that real quick. All right, let's get... I, I did some other stuff. I'll see you in a few seconds. I'm going to prepare the tank for you. And I'll see you in a few seconds. We're going to put uh, this device on our hose to pump the water into the line. And once it gets going, the heat of the Fluka rocket stove should make it run. All right, so uh, yeah. I got to place this in like this. Oop. Let's see, I make sure it's going the right way or I'll be wasting my time. That's a lot of thing about me. I usually put the thing on the wrong way. And I'm like, why is it not working? And realize it's, I made one flaw. So uh, I have to always double check myself to make sure it's, everything's right before I start. So you just twist one of these little plunger things or gas tank things or water line thing or whatever you want to call this thing make sure it's snug it's not going nowhere no water is going to leak and by the way this hose was free you might want to get a hot water hot water a hot water hose it might cost you a, bit, a penny or so but uh you got to get a hot water hose okay cut this piece goes like this and this goes like this and this goes like this so for those who's watching let's cross our fingers and hope this device works now remember I, I got a mechanic so he gives me a lot of pipes so you need a pipe thing there's this weird thing here so I'll make sure this is my inflow where the water goes in and the other pipe is my outflow so i gotta stick this like this and try to make it where it's there you go it's tight except for this this is not tight that's what she said oh it's tight so. now we're gonna hook up our return holes to the other side and hope it fits into the pipe oh it's as snug as a bug now we got to fill our tank up then we're going to turn the fire on then we're going to put the fluker on and see if we get hot water now the theory of the holes is this is called uh, this method is used by hot water pressure it's going to make the water flow not pressure from the from your house or gravity i'm going to use this system first because when i'm in the woods i don't want to put a bag 100 feet up i want to use a bucket and i found this old ice chest take a look i love when y'all when people just throw stuff away i thought this ice chest is missing this lid i got another ice chest over there i got a lot of junk for this project i spent maybe i just spent 75 dollars for the uh brass pipe that's in the fluka and the, the clampings and this little part here i paid 70 bucks about 80 bucks for this project all right let's get uh now we need to add water and start the fire cut all right okay so i'm having a little issue with the tank it's i don't have the right good piping for the tank but i'm still going to try it if I have to put the holes on it, my, it itself to all the run through. So I'm going to go ahead and start the, the fire test and see if it bowls, maybe, and maybe helps it along. So let's get that fire going. So we're going to crank this baby up, use a normal lighter or whatever you want to call it. I recommend the torch. 
my little wussy hands can open it. Okay. So we're gonna do a, watch me. We're gonna still do a test to see if the water goes. It looks like it's dripping right here. So it might work. And I also had to put it, I had to take it out of the thing because of the holes. I don't want to cut that, the, uh, the, the smoker right now. So it's lit. We're gonna see if it works. Tighten up some screws. All right, well, the Fluka rocket stove is now cooking, and we're gonna see what happens with the hot water, if the water even gets hot. But this is the bowling system. They got water in here, so it might start pumping. And it should take about three hours to get hot water, that whole box hot water. All right, stay tuned. So before I leave, I just want to make sure I let y'all know what happened here. The looks like the pressure. I don't have enough pressure though to do what I want. So I'm trying to find out what what I need to do to get it going right. Now I might need pressure from the house. It looks like it's, it feels like it's sucking, but I, it might be water from already in the line because I put the holes on it. Wait a minute, it's going down here. All right, so the system might work because I see a current down there already. I don't feel no hot water right now, but it might take a few seconds to get hot. So, but I do see a current in that water. Look at it. Take a look. The fluke is going, the fluke stove is going good. You can hear it. I think why I was doing that because I did this. Let's find out if this is the the cause of that. All right, so the water's going through. Good. That means the water is flowing in the holes. So now the theory is the boiling we heat the heat up the water, and the water will boil through. And the holes that's on the ground will keep your camp warm. So we're going, to, we're going to find out how long this thing going to burn because I put extra oil in it. I put uh, all kinds of wood in it and wood's going to, I'm going to see if I can make pulp wood out of it or some type of something. So we're going to see what happens. I see the water's still stirring over here. Like you said, it, take, it might take about three hours to warm up that whole line of water. So that's why we need a feeder. We need a feeder to keep it going. That should have been my first project, but I wanted to do this test, see if it works. It looks like it's working. The water's stirring in there. All right. Wait a minute. A uh, action. Well, okay. I do believe I try to feed it sticks and the water got hot around that tube the, the pipe I touched it it was very hot but I do believe the reason sorry for that car okay anytime okay now I do believe the reason why I'm not gonna get hot water real fast because the tank is huge that tank is almost 10 gallons I've 
almost 20 gallons of water that's in this tank here. So I'm not going to get hot water anytime soon. I got to get that feeder going. But hey, you get to see my test. So I hope you enjoy that video of the live feed. I just made a, you know, a week ago maybe. I don't know when that video, this video is going to come out. But I've been feeding the sticks. And I put some cold down. Hey, look at, look at me. And I put some coals down there to, just to keep the fire going. And this was, the tubing was hot and I was cold. Because uh, I pumped the uh, the uh, the pump and it pumped some cold water in there. So I lost my hot water that I had in here. That was in here. So it's going to take at least three hours to heat to four hours to heat up all that water so if I get it lower and maybe a battery operated pump to pump water I might get better hot flow so I still get hot water I can run the hose from my house to do the same thing it'd be faster too and if this is hotter it will have hot water the minute I turn it on all right, I, I'm going to include this test as a good test. I just need to get that feeder going. And I think I'll have the perfect hot water heater. But the water did get hot. I touched the pipes and they were hot. It's just it's so much water, it's not going to work like I want. And maybe if I had maybe like a gravity feeder and so much water where it goes from cold, hits to hot goes into the bag or another bucket for hot water but I wanted to recycle so I gotta get this thing hotter to make it work all right I read your cookie I hope you enjoy the fluka rocket stove test with the hot the water heater all right I read your cookie bye bye all right, this is when I had hot water. I put a lot of fuel in that sucker. And uh, I got a lot of hot water really quick. So like I said, if I get that feeder going, I'll have hot water. Smoke. I got hot water. Just a, a couple of ingenuities. I said, well, what the hell? I went and grabbed my water well pump and I put the whole I noticed that it don't have water flow I have hot well, I got water I got hot water damn I got water I got hot water man this water is coming out hot now all right I'll be right back I'm gonna give a thermometer and, and test that water for you uh I'm gonna do a cut all right kind of excited right now i'm sorry for all the shaking all right we got a uh we got a thermostat i'm gonna test the water here okay 70 degrees seven degrees i'm gonna take it out and show you see where it's at now we're gonna put it in the the hot water thing and see what happens i'm sorry it wasn't seven degrees it was uh 55 degrees. I'm reading the, the thermometer wrong. All right, it jumped up. So far, we at almost 80 degrees. 80 degrees or whatever Celsius. Now, I found out this was too high and it stopped the water flow. I want to show you. See, it stopped the water flow. If I bring it back down, it starts the water flow again. Look how the temperature is dropping from where it was. I want to show you again the temperature. Okay. You get to watch it. Watch it. Oh no, come on. Stop playing with me. All right. Uh, let's see. There you go. Look. Almost 80 degrees. Come down. Let's take a look real close. Look at this, cause I, I want to see. I want you to see the results. Look at it. Look how hot it is. It's getting cold now. I guess it's uh, the uh, 
flames are dying over there. Let's see what we got over here. It was hotter a little while ago. I put a lot of wood in it, and that sucker went up. So I want you to watch this, or I'll put some firewood in the... Uh... All right, let's pause, and I'll be back. All right, I want you to watch the temperature gauge for me while I go crank up the fire and see if that goes up any higher. All right, it looks like he's going down because it's not hot. But in a few seconds, that water is going to get hot. So let's take a watch while I crank up the fire. It's at 60 degrees. So the fire is ready to crank up. Give me a sec. All right, I just put some fire, some wood in the, in the machine. It's still at 60 degrees. All right, cut. I just put a shitload of wood in my fluka, and it's still at 60 degrees, but if I took it out, and watch how fast it drops, just to show you how warm that water is already. See how, how fast it's dropping? And the normal temperature of the water, come up here, See, the normal temperature of this water, okay, it's right there, it's between 50 and 60, so 55 degrees, that's how hot it is, and this water is still cold, so we'll go ahead and dump that. Alright, the fire is going on real good, look at it, it's jumping up a little bit now, it was at 60 degrees. It went up two degrees. It's almost 65 degrees because I just put some more firewood in there. It is almost 65. All right, it's now completely at 65 degrees. So it just jumped two degrees from last time we checked. I was wondering what's going on. Why well, I'm not getting hot water. Now I know why. It wasn't leaking. It was... Oh, look. Look. It's jumping up. Look at that. Look at that. It jumped to 70 degrees. Now, if I could recycle the same water, that'd been perfect because this water would get hotter and would stay in the system. Look at it, it's getting higher and higher. And the water feels comfortable right now at 70 degrees. Cut. It's still at 70, almost 70 degrees. It's about two degrees off of 70, but I got hot water or warm water right now. But if I, like I said, if I run this system, I will have hot water in no time. So the water system works. I'm so happy. Look at this. Just look at that. It's doing this gerb. And it's doing its job over here. So the water flow is doing good. It's still at 70 degrees. Maybe I get rid of some water. Because that's that's cold. God darn, that's cold. That's like ice cold. <laughs> and this, yeah, that's, that's 70 degrees. It can get hotter if I made it right. Look, it's jumped about one degree. Just to show you the different temperature, I'm gonna sh pull it out again and show you where it's going. I'm gonna put it in this water here. It stopped at 58 degrees. All right, we'll put it back in the water. All 
All right, ready? Well, there you go, folks. I have created the wa hot water heater. I'm sorry, water heater, game you boy. Say it right. A lot of people are going to get confused. And that's 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 hot down there. That's a bunch of cold. So I'm just going to let this burn out now. I'm going to put the water up and it's going to stop the flow. Then it might burn my pipes. I don't know. <laughs> but that's a lot of water for it to go through. And make sure I got that sucker started. I put this thing in there and I pumped the water. And it wasn't coming through. So when I laid it down, that's when the water started to flow. So if I could take maybe a bucket or smaller, less water and a little motor that pumps the water back and have less water, I should have hot, a warm camp in no time. Let's, tell, let's see, see how hot this is. That's cold. That's warm. This one's warm. I'm sorry, speaking so low, close to you. That's warm. That's warm. That's cold. That's cold. So we got a warm and cold pipe coming through. So maybe if I get the that one closer, it'd be less travel, and the other holes would be warmer and would keep my camp warm. That's cold. I think that's the same line. That's cold. Cold. Warm. Cold. Warm. So now that's all I do is shorten that cord from that box to the, the thing. And that'd be my gravity fee. Because it looks like it's doing fine. And that longer. The hot water part longer. So there you go. I saw, I see the parts I need to work on. I'm going to work on it. Get that done. Get my feeder going. To keep it that power hot. Let's look at that. All right, well, there you go. Um, I wasn't going to give up too easy, so I, I tried different methods. I used this and the light laying on the ground. Let's check a look at the temperature now. Oh, look at that. It rise. It rise another seven degrees, if I'm not mistaken. That's nice and warm. All right, I'm Ranger Kuki, and this is a success. Ding, ding. Don't forget to like. That's Ranger. I can't do that. All right, I'm Ranger Kiki. See you on next video. You, oh, I'm so happy. Where's Sally? This dirt. Are you happy, dirt? I'm happy. Do you know that if your owner of the dog is, if the owner of the dog is happy, the dogs are happy too. You see how Sally and him is so playful. Bye bye.